You already know how to subtract two three-digit numbers. In this lesson, you'll learn how to subtract with four-digit numbers. When we subtract two four-digit numbers, we work the problem exactly the same as when we subtract two three-digit numbers. For example, 5,093 minus 2,684. Remember, when subtracting, we always start with the ones place. We can't subtract four from three. So take a one from the tens. We have 13 minus 4, which is equal to 9. In the tens column, 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. In the hundreds column, we can't subtract 6 from 0, so we take a 1 from the thousands. So we now have 10 minus 6, which is equal to 4. In the thousands column, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So 5,093 minus 2,684 is equal to 2,409. Now, let's look at subtracting two numbers that don't have the same number of digits. For example, 4,816 minus 235. Just as in adding, it's important to write the problem with the digits in the ones place lined up. It's especially important to do this for problems like this. Now that the ones place is lined up with the ones place, the tens place is lined up with the tens place, and so on. Remember, when subtracting, we always start with the ones place. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. In the tens place, we can't subtract 3 from 1. So we take a 1 from the hundreds, and now we have 11 minus 3 which is equal to 8. In the hundreds place, 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. In the thousands place, we have only one number. When you have this situation, you can treat the empty space as a zero. We know that subtracting zero doesn't change a number, so we can just bring down the 4. So 4,816 minus 235 is equal to 4,581. In the remainder of this lesson, you'll solve subtraction problems when at least one of the numbers has four digits. Remember to line up the place values starting with the ones place. Now, do the rest on your own. 